AI agents are advancing faster than ever, and OpenAI's latest tool, Operator, is at the center of the conversation. But can it actually perform common Salesforce admin tasks? Well, today, we'll put it to the test. A big thank you to Andrea Dorofti for testing this out for us. OpenAI's operator is an autonomous agent that works on a remote web browser, interacting with applications by clicking, scrolling, and typing, just like it was a human. It was launched in January 2025, and it is currently in research preview for ChatGPT Pro users in the United States. Unlike traditional automation, operator has reasoning capabilities that allow it to self-correct, ask for clarifications, or request user intervention when it encounters blockers. It proactively hands over control when sensitive actions are required, such as logging in, inputting payment details, or completing captures. Users can then provide context when returning control to operator to ensure it understands the changes made. With all this in mind, we wanted to see how well operator could handle Salesforce administrator tasks. We tested it in a Salesforce developer edition environment to evaluate its accuracy and effectiveness. And here's how it went. Creating fields in Salesforce's UI is one of the most repetitive yet essential tasks for any Salesforce admin. It's also one of the first skills that Salesforce professionals learn, making it a great starting point for our tests. When provided with a complete prompt, including field type, name, and layout preferences, Operator executed the task successfully. It also handled in-flight instructions, such as limiting field permissions before even reaching that step in the process. This suggests it had some level of contextual memory within a single task flow. However, when the prompt was missing key details, Operator still attempted the task, but asked for clarification where needed. It also faced some challenges when selecting the field type, initially struggled with placeholder text when naming a section, and took a more time-consuming approach to adjust field level security, unchecking permissions one by one instead of using the bulk action checkbox. Interestingly, while it completed mandatory fields, it didn't proactively ask about or input description or help text unless explicitly instructed. Another issue arose when moving fields to a new section in the page layout. Operator believed it had completed the action, but one field remained in its default location. This happened multiple times until we specifically instructed it to remove placeholder text before renaming the section. Once drag and drop interactions were removed from the equation, however, Operator breezed through field creation and layout adjustments. Next, we tested how well Operator could modify dynamic forms, Salesforce's more flexible alternative to page layouts. Operator successfully added a filter to a field and tested the configuration to confirm it worked. It even figured out the correct field to use despite initial confusion. However, like with standard layouts, it believed fields were positioned correctly when, in reality, someone misplaced. We found that removing drag and drop requirements and opting for direct field selection worked more effectively. Now, Operator might make quite a few mistakes in Salesforce, but we know you won't want to make the mistake of not delivering the very best Salesforce features all the time. And what better way to do just that than using Salesforce Foundations? Salesforce Foundations gives you access to more of Salesforce, and it's now easier than ever to get started with the connected Customer 360 by building foundational apps into your CRM at no additional cost. Yes, that's right, it's for free. Get access to sales deal management, service case resolution tools, marketing email campaigns, commerce storefront, and more with this free add-on today. And if you want more info or need more convincing, Check out the demo at salesforceben.com forward slash foundations. You'll find the link to this in the description. Validation rules are a core part of enforcing business logic in Salesforce. So we were curious to see how Operator would handle them. Surprisingly, this is where it performed best. Not only did Operator create a validation rule quickly and accurately, but it also proactively completed the description field without being asked, something it didn't do during field creation. Formula fields, however, proved more challenging. Operator initially attempted to access the lead object incorrectly, 
by clicking the API name instead of the hyperlink in Object Manager. Once it reached the formula editor, it didn't use isPickVal or text for a pickless field, resulting in a syntax error. To its credit, Operator did recognize the error and attempted to adjust the formula before saving, but it required additional guidance to complete the task successfully. Unlike with validation rules, it did not proactively check the syntax before submission. To test Operator's ability to work with data, we had it create 10 test lead records. It asked for confirmation before making changes to records, and once given approval, it completed the task without issue. Reports were a little bit more difficult. While it correctly selected the report type and applied some filters, it initially failed to save the report properly. After adjusting the prompt to be more specific and reinforcing the use of the save and run button, it was able to complete the task. This highlighted an important takeaway. Operator requires precise instructions for multi-step actions. With Process Builder and workflow rules on their way out, Salesforce admins are increasingly turning to flows for automation. And can Operator handle this, you're asking? At first, Operator mistakenly navigated to Process Builder instead of Flow Builder. But after an initial misstep, it corrected itself in subsequent attempts, even after the conversation was reset. When asked to create an automation that sets the opportunity close date to the current date, Operator chose stage as the entry criteria instead of is closed. It also created a formula resource with today instead of directly using flow.currentDate, which added an unnecessary step, but still worked. Operator initially overlooked the optimize the flow for setting, but corrected this when prompted. It also successfully used the debug functionality before activating the flow. One particularly interesting behavior emerged when we asked operator to justify its decisions. It interpreted this as an error and offered to combine two separate flows instead of explaining why it made those choices. This suggests that operator struggles with reasoning about best practices. Additionally, while it successfully updated a record in one scenario, it incorrectly mapped a task's owner to the wrong field in another. Once given additional instructions, it corrected itself, reinforcing the need for admins to spot and adjust errors as needed. So, after testing Operator on a range of Salesforce admin tasks, what's the verdict? In many cases, Operator can complete tasks accurately, especially with a well-structured prompt. It also demonstrates an ability to self-correct and take in-flight instructions. However, it struggles with drag and drop interactions, multi-step logic, and best practice decision-making. It also requires close monitoring to ensure accuracy. While Operator is a powerful tool, it's not ready to replace a Salesforce admin. Instead, it can serve as an assistant, automating repetitive tasks and speeding up workflows, but human oversight is still essential.